Good morning, it is Thursday. I'm gonna try this again. I tried to film a vlog yesterday and then I tried to do like a wedding update video two days ago and I haven't haven't published it because I don't like it, so we're gonna try it again. I am going into the city now. I have my real estate meeting. We had to push it up because tomorrow I have my first dress fitting for the wedding. Um, and then I have a facial and then I have to drop off a deposit to Nicola for my wedding band and then I'm staging. Let's get going. It is about, it is 7.04 right now. Can you see that? Believe me, I am a little bit tired, but I'm gonna go grab some coffee on the go because I just like don't have the energy to make it this morning. I usually do a pour over coffee. Um, maybe grab some breakfast and then drive. I'm gonna take the 407 today. So usually if I drive into the city at this time, it takes me two hours to get there. Um, but I just needed the extra sleep, so I did that and I'm going to pay for the 407 so that it only takes me an hour to get there. So um, it's gonna get dark because the house is pretty dark right now. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Zara leather jacket. This is a merino wool cardigan from Zara that I'm wearing as a t-shirt today. And then my Citizens of Humanity Leah jeans. I'm also not wearing any makeup right now because I know I'm gonna be doing the facial today. Just trying to figure out what shoes I wanna wear. This is kind of my pile up right now. It's not supposed to rain today, so I actually might try out my Vince sandals. We'll try this out. So I haven't worn them out like for a full day yet, so I hope they don't kill my feet. Should be okay, I hope. We'll see. And then I do have a change of sandals in the car. I don't know what that is. That's a white fluff. So I do have a change of shoes in the car in case it does get crazy. So I will bring, I will bring my trusty spring sandals. Woohoo, I have to wipe them. I think they got a little dirty, but I will bring that too. So this is our little beer and alcohol corner uh, where we put it for now. I do want to turn this whole area into a reading nook. Right now it's like a mix between storage and our little plant corner there. Um, I don't usually drink from plastic water bottles, just an FYI. That was just from, it was from some sort of event that we needed to supply water as well as alcohol. I forget what that was, but I don't do that normally. So don't call me up, please. All right, so my morning was pretty nonstop, so I couldn't film but I just finished my facial. I'm gonna stop by Holtz to check out their sale because I haven't been down here for a while and I get like four hours of parking. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and then I have to go drop off a deposit for my wedding band and then stage stuff, so that'll be fun. But it's really sunny today. It's like the first sunny day in a long time. But this area is insane right now because of all of this construction that you guys can see while I'm walking and probably here. All right, I decided to stop into Holtz and do a little shopping because it's sale season. I had a lot of stuff. All right, so these are the A Gold E Jamie High Rise. I'm not in love with them, but I thought I'd show you what they look like. I just don't like how the leg looks. It makes me feel like super wide. So this is Kate, a New York denim brand that someone told me to try here. They're really low rise though, so I'm not liking it. The leg shape is like, it kind of curves in, which is interesting, but but it's more of the issue of the low rise. The buttons are cool, the finishes is, I think they have cool finishes, but I think it makes my body look so weird. All right, I also think the lighting in here just might be weird, but these are another pair of Kate's. They are high rise, straight leg, but these are a size 27 because it's the only size that they had. So that's probably why there's like a lot of ruching in this area. Nothing too special about them. I really am not feeling this brand of jeans, so probably a no-go for me. But let me know if any of you have tried it out. Apparently it's like all the rage with Anna Wintour, so we'll see. 
I am loving this sweater though. It's like a bright pink cashmere polo. It's a size large, so that's why it's so nice and flowy. But this lighting is killing me, sorry. Super, super cute. I just don't know if I would wear a pink sweater enough to justify the price tag. So this is a Isabel Marat Etwa skirt that I have been eyeing online and I wanted to try it in person. It's pretty cute. It's like a long enough skirt that I feel comfortable in. And I think it looks pretty cute with the pink sweater. It's very, very girly for me, but I'm trying to try new things. So this is the pattern up close. All right, I know it's funny to be shopping for a cashmere slash wool jacket when it's about to be summer, but this is the acne jacket that I've been wanting for a while and it's on sale now. So I might pick it up because it's just so classic and oversized and just awesome, really. Like, these are the kind of jackets you can fit in super oversized sweaters underneath. And that's what I need, like, all the time. Yeah, I think this one's definitely a keeper. All right, so this is a white jacket from Theory. It's almost like a little mini trench coat. I don't like the shape as much as I thought I would. I don't really like how it flares out and it doesn't have buttons. So it's kind of like a half blazer, half, almost military inspired with the pockets here. But you can see the material's kind of like shiny. So it's a little bit, it's not grungy enough for me, I think, if I were to go with a jacket like this. Especially this, I don't like the collar being so big. All right, so I'm actually really liking this. This is like, I don't even know what to call it. It's like an anorak, but a in cotton, almost like a button down. This is a size medium, that's why it's so big. But I'm envisioning it with like bike shorts, but I just don't have any to try it on with now. It does have a hood, which is really cool. Actually, this outfit is growing on me in general. What do we think? I love the oversized look. Okay, so this is another sweater by Theory. It is a kind of like loose knit cardigan. It's almost like my Free People one, but a little bit more, I guess, preppy. I like the idea of these like light cardigans for summer, but I am not sure if it's too similar to the Free People one. It's like definitely whiter than the Free People one. It has buttons, a little bit different texture, but I am not sure. So this is me playing with color again. This is the most beautiful yellow cardigan I've seen. I'm so obsessed. So this is Theory again. It's like a thick ribbed cardigan. So you can see how thick rib it is. It has one button closure here. So I feel like you can wear it almost like some sort of robe thing. It is really heavy though. So I'm not really sure what weather I would wear it in. It would have to be pretty cold. It's too heavy for like a super hot summer day. Okay, last item is this Isabel Marant denim jacket that I had been eyeing on Shopbop ever since it came out. It has this really cool back. But now that I have it on, I don't know if I like it as much. All right, so I didn't have a chance to film yesterday after my shopping trip because I was rushing to stage and we didn't end up finishing to stage till like eight. Didn't get home till like nine and I was exhausted and then I kind of stayed up way too late watching YouTube videos. I wanted to wake up at like five today. I didn't wake up till seven. Um, I am about to head out to my first dress alteration appointment. Um, so I'm super excited. I have the underwear I want to try to wear with the dress. Hopefully it works because otherwise I am on the hunt again. Bringing my wedding shoes to make sure they are hemmed properly. 
And I want to show you quickly the piece I ended up getting. I went with the Acne Wool Jacket, Wool and Cashmere Double Face Jacket because it is such a classic piece. Um, and it was almost 50% off with the sale price. So that's just like an investment for the rest of my life. Like even if I get pregnant, it's like a wide enough jacket to where I can layer jackets over it, under it, I mean. So yeah, that's kind of like the thought process that goes through my mind. Um, but when I do investment pieces like that, I'm just moving here because the lighting in there is so gross. But I did want to say thank you so much for watching my daily vlog. I will be doing more of these. I like got re-inspired last night again because I watched uh, Justin Gabriel Conti's vlogs and they're like the reason one of the reasons why i went into vlogging because i love watching their stuff so much it's just like so fun and real and i'm like sometimes i do wish that travis would vlog with me because i thought because i think he would be so funny and i like like watching two people vlog together but alas he is not a youtuber husband but if you like the vlog like the vlog subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and i will see you next time Bye bye